Let's keep going with working on the covariance in this video. And before moving on, I'd like to know that I made a mistake in the previous video in the end where I said that this is the formula of the covariance times the correlation of uh, x and y, but that's not the correlation that I meant to say. I wanted to say the probability because I noted on my paper uh, with this uh, symbol and they kind of look similar to, to each other, so I made that mistake. Now, with this in mind, let's calculate the covariance. So what we're looking for the covariance, as we can see, are the differences between the x values and the expected values of x. So we will need the expected values of x and the expected value of y in our question to solve. Let's just remind ourselves what they are because we calculated them before. The expected value of x, where was it? Um, was over here, 1.3. And the expected value of y, the expected value of y we calculated uh, over here, that's 0 0.5 times 1 plus 0 0.5 times 2, and that's equal to 1.5. So let's just keep that in mind. The expected value of y is 1.5. The expected value of x is 1.3. Let me just write them here, not to forget. 1.3, and the other one is 1.5. Now, what do we want? We want the differences. So let's make this table like that. We will have the value, let me just change colors. We'll have the values of x, y the difference between x from the expected value of x the difference between y and the expected value of y and also the probability between them the probability between them and we want to see what covariance that gives us now let's see how that's gonna look like let's just make the table so let me draw this matrix so to speak it's gonna look like that now making the columns so these are going to be the columns that we want to use like that. Now, first we're interested in the uh, value of x equals to 1 and y equals to 1. So x equals to 1, y equals to 1. How much does 1 differ from the expected value of x? And the expected values of x is 1.3. So 1.3. 1 minus 1.3 is minus 0 0.3. And the same logic goes here. How much does 1 of y differ from the expected value of y, which is 1.5? 1 minus 1.5 is minus 0 0.5. The probability between x and y, so the probability of having x equals to 1, y equals to 1, if we go in the table, it's equal to 0 0.4. So let's write that down, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. And what do we do now? We multiply all of them. We multiply the differences with the probabilities. So minus 0.3 times minus 0.5 times 0 0.4, that gives us a value of 0 0.4. 0, uh, 0.06 0 0.06 now with the same logic we do for the next combination x is 1 y is 2 so let's do it like that x is 1 let me change colors again x is 1 y is 2 now over here the difference between x and the expected values of x when x equals to 1 is going to be again minus 0 0.3 the difference between y and the expected value of y 2 minus 1.5 is 0 0.5 and the probability when x equals to 1 and y equals to 2 x equals to 1 y equals to 2 is this probability over here is 0 0.3 so let's write that down it's going to be 0 0.3 0 0.3 when we multiply all of them minus 0 0.3 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.3 we get a value of minus 0 0.045 Okay, one more thing done. Let's go to the next combination. So we go over here like that. We go below. We have the x equals to 2, x equals to 2, and then y equals to 1, y equals to 1. So what's the difference between 2 and the expected value of x, which is 1.3? That's a difference of 0 0.7. What's the difference between 1 and the expected value of y, which is 1.5? That's minus 0 0.5. What's the probability of having x equals to 2 and y equals to 1? We go here, x equals 2, y equals 1 is this probability 0 0.1. So we multiply it with 0 0.1. And if we work out this math, we get a value of minus 0 0.035. One more thing done, one less combination to find out. One less combination to find out over here, like that. So when x equals 2, y and y equals 2. So let's see for that combination, what do we get? We get that the difference between x and the expected value of x is 0 0.7. The difference between y equals 2 and the expected value of y of 1.5 is equal to 0 0.5. The probability, the probability of x equals 2, y equals 2, we get it from the table, is 0 0.2. 
so we have 0 0.2 over here 0 0.2 over here we multiply the differences with the probabilities and we find 0 0.07 now what we're looking for is the covariance between x and y so the covariance between x and y we have to add up all the values that we found so the sum of these covariances that we found gives us the total covariance between x and y and that's equal to 0 0.05 0 0.05 now by having the covariance we can calculate the correlation because remember in our variance formula we're looking for the correlation we're looking for the correlation and the correlation is equal to the covariance between x and y divided by the standard deviation of x times the standard deviation of y so we have all the data we found out the covariance between x and y to be equal to 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 let's write it over here 0 0.05 just a second change colors 0 0.05 divided by standard deviation of x we also found it we also found it over here standard deviation of x is 0 0.46 so divided by 0 0.46 and the standard deviation of y we found it out over here so standard deviation of y is 0 0.5 so multiplied with 0 0.5 0 0.5 and if we calculate all of this if we do the math over here we would have a correlation coefficient of 0 0.22 now using the correlation coefficient in our variance formula we can ca we can calculate the final variance that we were looking for let me just go to the variance formula um, let's just copy let's just crop it crop it and substitute the value so that it's more neat looks better uh, here put it put it over there so we have all the all the values now what we need to do is to substitute the values that we found so far the variance of x plus x plus y is equal to the variance of x we calculated it to be we calculated it to be 0 0.21 so 0 0.21 let's write it over there 0 0.21 plus the variance of y we calculated before that's equal to 0 0.25 write it over there 0 0.25 plus 2 times the correlation which is 0 0.22 times the standard deviation of x which is 0 0.46 and the standard deviation of y which is 0 0.5 0 0.5 now if we calculate all of this we find out that the variance of x plus y the variance of x plus y is equal to 0 0.56 that's the answer let's check with the answer key and the answer key for question 12 tells us that the variance of x plus y is also 0 0.56 so the answer is true and we are done.